Hi, I'm Steve. This is Fran. Today, it's Blue Star versus Viking. Blue Star family owned, based out of Pennsylvania. Viking is both US, mm -hmm. US based. Viking is corporately owned somewhere in uh, Ohio. All right. By Middleby Residential. Let's, let's, they're basically range companies, so let's. Yeah, so we're going to start kind of go category so by category. So let's do Pick ranges. Pick a winner. Let's start with ranges. All right, let's go with uh, Blue Star. If once you figure out the Blue Star range, mm -hmm. it's pretty good. I mean, they've got five series of gas ranges in their new dual fuel. Uh, they've got an open, a closed with lower BTUs. Then they have the, um, the precious metal with the um, French door, yep. which is kind of nice. It's it, for commercial kitchens, you open it up. So it's not a drop down door, you're in the oven. It's like one of the only ones, I think it's the only one that does that other than some of the French and you know the, the Tuscan, he does that on the side as well. And then you've got the R&B, which gives you the gas grill and griddle. And then you get the platinum, which is full powered 25,018. And then you've got their new dual fuel, which is sealed, even though they said a seal burner could never go to 25,000 B2s and Heston had 30, so now they have 25,000. So once you get through with all that, they make a pretty good range. Yeah, the new dual fuel range that just came out over the past year, really a phenomenal range, upgraded really everything about their previous range, and the, especially when you're looking, comparing the open burner to their new X8 burner. Mm -hmm. No controls really to really full fledged seven inch controls, LC, full LCD touchscreen. Really did a, a really nice job. Gives you that full custom ability on there. Um, really like the Blue Star ranges overall. So how does that compare to Viking? Well, both of them, neither one of them are smart. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're smart, you know, <laughs> but both of them have colors. Vikings got 17, which yeah. is 16 more than everybody else, except for Blue Star. They're 983 less than Blue Star. Blue Star is a thousand colors, and then you have 10 trims. So you can really make this, yeah. this stove unique. They'll take any, they'll take a paint chip and match to that yeah. as well. So they'll really unlimited for sure. Again, if we're talking about, um, if we're talking about sheer power, Blue Star is probably the best with mm -hmm. the 25s and then you know, certainly the 18s, their dual fuel is nice. Um, Vikings got a lot of different ranges. The three, five, seven, they differ in uh, BTO output. Um, they've got dual fuel and all gas, mm -hmm. and they've got their Tuscany. And also, if we want to compare, say, Viking, I know Middleby owns Viking, also has La Cornu and Aga. Mm -hmm. But um, I think in terms of power and style, I, I like the Blue Star better. Um, you know, it's it's funny, Viking actually really should be credited for manufacturing the first Pro Ranges. And one time they owned 50% of them, over 50% of the market on Pro Ranges. Yeah. And they kind of, you know, they, they stopped investing and, 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 and pretty much Wolf took them and Thermidor. And I think for some, I think in terms of power and style, I, I like Blue Star better. The Vikings certainly got a good name. Uh, they're on the comeback, but again, on both, you gotta you've gotta look at service as well in your area before you make a final decision. Yeah, agreed. I definitely like the Blue Star and really kind of up and coming with a lot of kind of their newer um, models, like we talked about with the dual fuel, new inductions coming this year up to mm -hmm. a forty eight inch induction as yeah, well. Yeah, over forty eight. We saw so, that. Yeah, yeah, really cool, really cool. So yeah. Blue Star is gonna take it for ranges here. So next category, let's talk about refrigeration. <laughs> okay. Um, Blue Star's good. You know, they design all their products to fit a commercial mm -hmm. commercial pan, all stainless, the insides, two compressor. Uh, the problem in this comparison I have is, is I'm not sure if Vi Viking's that one compressor DC. Exactly. Um, now, we haven't carried Viking for a long period of time, but, but this has been a problematic product for a lot of years. Um, and we service what we sell. So, you know, um, it, it's kind of a problem. They have that one DC compressor. This was an old Amana. Um, refrigerator designed in 30 years ago and then Amana sold to Goodman and Goodman sold this to Viking and, and they really not done well with that. I, I think I like the style of the Viking. You have to check the service stats. For me, this is like Blue Star's good. You know, it's 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 got a really good design. You know, yeah. we talk about true and the sub zero professional being all stainless. Well, Blue Star's all stainless, two, compre two compressor yeah. system as well. So they make a good fridge, not very well known, kind of expensive. But I think against Viking, I, I give them this only because 
I, I have real reservations about the Viking fridge. Yeah, I completely agree there. And like, just even comparing the fit and finish on them, like you look at that Blue Star, like you said, full stainless steel interior, the door bins are solid, like really did a nice job with the whole, the build out, um, durability of it. You know, even like little things like you get the French door, 36 inch, which yep. you don't get in a Viking, you know, mm -hmm. definitely I'd say probably one of the, if not the most popular size. So you don't get that with the Viking dual compressor versus a single compressor, just much better as far as food preservation, longevity of the refrigerator. So I agree. I think Blue Star takes this category as well. All right. The only other really major category for me is, is wall ovens. Um, and on this one, you know, the, the, the Blue Star French door oven is nice. And you, it's mm. nice that you can get it all gas and you get it in all different configurations. But if you ever take a look at it, it sticks out about that much. Yeah. And normally that's not a big deal, but it just doesn't look all that good. I, I like the fact that you get gas. And for, for people out there, especially in the ranges, you don't have to get dual fuel. If you roast, um, gas is better because it's a moisture heat. Mm -hmm. If you boil, gas is way better with an infrared versus an electric boiler. There's no contest there. So don't feel like you have to go dual fuel because a salesman told you it's the best thing. Um, it is better for baking. But in this one, I, I just from the just from the style of it, I, I like the Viking French door better. It's much more streamlined. Um, I do like the controls on the Blue Star, but I just I, I just don't. Whenever we had it on display, I just didn't love the look of it. Yeah, they've definitely upgraded the controls a bit on their wall ovens, not nearly to the level of what it is on their new dual fuel ranges. So it's definitely a category. I think that you're going to see some improvements in their built-in cooking in general. Cooktops are definitely starting to see some improvements over the next this year. We should see some. But agreed there, you know, it's not quite to the level of what everything else in yeah. their line is there. They have a cool, the built-in pizza stone is kind of cool. We've used that and mm -hmm. tested it and it does work really well. But yeah, Viking definitely competes well in this category. So who do you think? Yeah, I, 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 I'd, I'd give it a Viking. Okay. Almost out of default. Same thing with the fridge. We've got two default categories. You know, these companies, you know, Blue Stars and make a dishwasher. Viking really doesn't either. It's made yeah. from by Becco. Um, so there's not really much else to talk no. about here. But for ranges, they're both good ranges. This is where they actually live. Blue Star's done a nice job with uh, refrigerators as well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's Hope Viking. And they are American, so we are rooting for them. Um, and they have recently moved the tooling to Mississippi. So uh, hopefully in a few years, their refrigeration will be a little more competitive. But that's, that's all we got for this comparison. Sounds good. And if you like the video, subscribe and be the first for uh, future content. And thanks for watching. Thanks.